All right, what's up guys? So I need to do, let me turn the light on. I need to do a little maintenance to my uh, truck bed, to the shell on there with the curtains. Um, I've had a couple of clips break that hold the curtains up and they're plastic clips. And I know I've got more out here somewhere. So this is what I have been using. Uh, it's a half inch cable clamp. And I've got one left in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run to Menards. And I believe that you can get these with that they're made out of metal. And then there's just a little rubber insert in here. Uh, and I just have these attached with the screws that hold the window in place. And then the curtain rod runs through there. So I need to run to the store and see if I can find these in metal. Because uh, I'm getting ready to go on another trip. I'm going to leave in the morning. So I want to get this taken care of. And then I'm going to see if I can find a better little... Uh, container for my food stuff since that crate I've been using is broken and then get my camper all set up for the trip because the stuff that I have under my bed now is I've got the reflectix in there which I don't need anymore and what else well I don't need it during the summer really I mean you can use it to keep the heat out I need to get the heater out from under the bed and put the fan in there that I've got this fan right there so I got a few things to do and I actually still need to mow the lawn today, which I hate doing. I don't know, but that's the worst part of home ownership to me is the mowing the lawn. I hate the lawn. Anyways, I'm going to run to Menards. Let's go up there and see if we can find some of these in metal. All right, guys. Well, I found them. Yes, uh, I'm in Menards. We're required to wear masks in here. This is like the first time I've worn one out in public because whatever. But so here's the ones that I have. And these are what I'm looking for. I didn't realize that they only sold them in two packs, so I don't know if they're going to have enough. I'm just going to go ahead and buy what they've got here. So I'll get two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten of them. I don't think that's going to be enough to do all the windows. So I'll buy these, but I'm also going to get another pack of the plastic ones just so I've got some extras. And then I'm going to wander around a little bit and see if I can find myself something to use for my food storage. They might have some sort of container here I can use, but see if I can find that. All right, we got some stuff. This tote, which it should fit back there pretty nice. Like I said, I was just looking for something to replace that crate that was broken. That'll work. It's hot in there. I think that's the only place that I've gone that actually is requiring a face mask inside. All right, I'm actually gonna run to somewhere else. I think I'm gonna run to Shields since I'm really close and I need to get a couple other things from there for the trip. I need to realign a rod and that's about it. But I'll probably just see you guys at home. That's not gonna be very interesting or terribly relevant to this video, so. All right, well, I stopped at the car wash. I need to wash this old turret up before I go out. I haven't washed it probably close to a month and there's bird crap all over it. So we're going to get this thing cleaned up, guys. Washed up. Still doesn't like. I don't feel like this ever gets a clean, but this thing has not been waxed in a long time. I need to get a detail done on this thing, but it needs some paint touch up and stuff before I do that. Um, the, uh, I mean, I've got fender flares on here, and they ain't just because I like them. <laughs> it's because they're covering up the crust, um, and I got plenty of crust on my rockers too. Uh, in fact, the, the rear driver, the rear passenger side um, fender flare is damn near falling off at this point because there ain't nothing under there to hold it on anymore. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's uh, lipstick on a pig, guys. This thing ain't that nice. You know, I can't hate on it because. 
because it's done me well for over 10 years now I've had it and 151,000 almost 152,000 miles I've put on this thing but it definitely has crusted up a bit um, the rod keeps dangling on the back window what I'd like to do honestly is just instead of getting well, you know I fixed the rocker rust but uh, as far as the bed goes since this is a white truck it's really easy to find a takeoff bed because these beds are exactly the same this is a half ton but the beds on the 2500s 3500s are the same thing uh, so there's a lot of people that would have a truck with a bed this size that have replaced it with a flat bed so it's it's fairly easy to find one and they're really not that expensive when you start looking at them um, so I don't really need to do anything other than swap it out but I'm gonna wait I'm pretty much waiting to the point where the fender flare does fall off like right now it won't sit flat to the body anymore because there's just nothing underneath where it connects to hold it against there so it's got a gap so it's getting even worse because the rust is just the shit anything can get in there and just sit there uh, so it's kind of a bummer but I mean this truck has done me well so about to get home get the uh, the clamps on all those curtain swapped out at least what I can with what I've got um, it's mostly just the side curtains and the rear by the tailgate because I'm moving those around so much and the ones on the tailgate window I've you know I've gotten stuck on those getting in and out and I've kind of pulled on them and I've replaced a couple of them but the ones on the cab window right here I haven't had any issues with so I'm gonna start probably with the side windows with those metal clips I think I want to say there's like six on each one though so I don't even know if I have enough I think I've got ten but all right in the garage my filthy garage I still have not gotten my ice fishing gear out of here yet it's the June like there's no reason to even move it at this point four months or so I'll be able to get that thing back out but we're gonna get this truck stuff fixed up probably have to put you guys on a tripod it'll be the easiest way it's bright out here it's hot the trash can smells absolutely terrible I must have been driving a bit reckless <laughs> thing fell down Usually I don't leave this stuff in here forever, but I've been doing so many trips that it's nice to just have this stuff in the truck at all times instead of having to load it. So we're in here, and I was right. Each side window has six clamps, and I've only got ten total, so this is not going to be great, but I think I have a broken one. Yeah, this one right here is broken, so I need to replace that one anyways. It's not ideal, but I bought every package they had. I even stopped and asked if they had some more in the back or something somewhere. I should have just ran into a different store. This looks so much bigger, but it's because they're metal. And actually one of the nice things about these is I can kind of uh, bend them out a little bit. On the side windows, the curtains are so close to the actual window with these, like they sit so hard against the window that you kind of have to pull them out a little bit to move it because the curtains will like drag on the window frame and the other screws that are in there. So that was one of the other reasons that I wanted to change out to these, but let me see if I can find, uh, find myself a wrench or something that'll work. Oh, you know, I'm probably sure I got one in here, but I might just need to use one of these cheap tool kits. I think this might actually have something in it. One of these will probably work great with that. I'll just take that with me. Yeah, I still open five drawers to find one thing every single time I get in the toolbox, but that's typical. And since I'm gonna just do three of these windows, might as well start on this front one. So if you guys can see, you might be able to see from that far away uh, on these and even on these side windows here like the clamps this has a slit in it and the clamp is there and on here it's right there and that one's broken so maybe I'll do that side of the truck over here but we'll get one of these taken off and see how well they 
those metal ones fit. Yeah, I grabbed the right one the first time. So these are quarter inch. And there we go, I got one of the screws taken out. That's all that's holding your whole window frame in on these things. There we go. That one swapped out. It does move a little bit, but these aren't uh, perfect either. They move a little bit in those. So, I mean, these things work, but they are plastic. And these are just super cheap curtain rods from Walmart. They're adjustable. That's it, boom. We're rolling. I think the ones on this side are all good. And I'm assuming the one on this side is broken from me, like leaning against it or pulling on it, maybe. But I'm just gonna swap these ones out. And then the two on the rear, the rear has a broken one also. Don't like super over tighten these because these frames are aluminum. You could easily strip that out, but I can bend them out, which is nice. That'll be really nice once I get these all switched out. Holy crap, I'm just dripping sweat in here. As far as these curtains themselves go, um, just something my wife made, sewed up. I think we had, I think it was from a set of blackout curtains that we had, and these are double layer, if you can see that. So when you close them, it does get really dark in here. The camera shut off. I think it's just way too hot out here right now, especially in the back here with no breeze. But like I said, I'm gonna switch out all the ones on this side and this back window here. You can see how they're mounted. That's the plastic ones. I'm just swapping those guys out. So I'm gonna get that done. I'm gonna shut this camera off because I don't really need it to overheat and break uh, for anything bad to happen to it. But I'll see you guys when I get these uh, curtains all swapped out and then we're going to get that taken care of. And I also need to do some organizing under here. I need to get all that Reflectix taken out, get that quesadilla maker out of here and uh, get my grill and stuff under there. So I'll get back to you guys when I'm doing that stuff. All right, guys, these are all swapped out and I bent them out so they're flat. And it allows me to move my curtains much easier than I used to. Uh, you still got to kind of do this number. I usually just use both hands, but they don't get caught. Before the curtain rods were so, they're pushed up against the frame so much that the curtains would get caught on these uh, other screws in here. So now it's got a little bit of room. Like here, you can see how I've bent that out flat. So it's sticking, sticking straight out. So works a lot nicer. Now I need to get my food crate switched around so one of the real reasons i wanted to switch this out other than it's broke i mean it being a little broken like that is not going to hurt anything it's still completely functional but i wanted to have something with a lid on it wherever that lid is right here so that as i'm laying in here in bed i have a little bit of a table right next to me so that i can also use this to throw my tablet on that way i've got something else besides my cooler sticking on it was just i was looking for something that had a lid uh, it would be nice if i could put it in there this way and i can because now i can set that on top of there and i opened up my floor space a little bit more and i still have plenty of storage in here now which is nice so i need to get this stuff cleaned up and like i said i need to get my fan and everything swapped out in here Heater can go out. All this reflects reflectix can go in the garage. So now I've got this whole space down here. I know a lot of you have asked about the bed. I mean, it's really simple. It's just two by twos. Uh, these are all one by fours. Uh, and then the side here is just quarter inch ply. And then I've got some trim pieces on there. So you guys can kind of see how that's put together. It is not fancy at all. It's really simple to do. Um, I mean one saw and a drill and you can pretty much get that done you don't need any kind of fancy tools but i'm still back here just leaking all over the place so i grab my fan i wonder if the battery's even working here i could have just brought this in here yeah batteries are still good i should have brought this in here earlier so i wasn't sweating but this fan is battery powered it also has a plug-in on the side so i can plug this straight into uh 
camp power, which is why I always have an extension cord in here. And then for this, what I do is you're not gonna be able to see it on that window over there, but I just set it up here on the ledge like that. And then I'll run a bungee strap around it. So if I've got the window open, it provides good uh, ventilation in and out. Uh, and you can stick it on either side. You can flip the fan around either way you want, whether you want it pushing air in or pulling air out. Uh, so that works really well. And then if you want the windows closed, if it's raining or something and you're stuck in here, you can throw it on top of, just set it on the floor or whatever, and you still get some air circulation. So that will go underneath the bed here, which is where I always put it. I should have a container back here to put this stuff in and I might grab one. Uh, years ago when I first put this camper together, we bought little Tupperware totes and the totes that we bought fit in these spaces on the bottom here perfectly. You could put six total under the bed and we had, I've got two beds. I've got another identical bed in here. Uh, so we'd have six totes and you could fill them completely full of stuff. And it was nice to be able to grab that out. We used to have like all of our cookware in there, toilet paper and things like that. But after using it for a while, you just come to realize like you don't need to carry that much crap around with you, especially if you're just going out for a week or a weekend or something like that. And a vast majority of times, if my wife is with me, like we're only out for a night or two. So carrying all that extra stuff around wasn't necessary. It uses up space that I can throw other stuff in here. I can throw tackle boxes under here. I mean, you can put anything you want under the beds. Having all that stuff just wasn't necessary. And it's extra weight that you're carrying around that you don't need. In a big truck like this, you know, I'm averaging like 14 miles to the gallon as it is. So every pound counts that you're carrying around. Kind of getting everything organized in here. I've got some propane bottles and I've got my grill. So this grill fit right under the bed also. It's uh, it's like a dual grill. It's got a grill on one side and a burner on the other. So with this in here, I don't really need to have my single burner stove that I usually carry around, but I don't really, it's, it's a lot easier to set up that single burner if I'm using it inside the back here than breaking out that double grill. Propane, you see the propane bottles fit under the bed, standing up, so. And the bed is just built to go right over the wheel well. I get a lot of quiet, a lot of questions about the bed and the curtains, so I figured I'd show you guys a little bit more of it. Toilet paper under there, extra trash bags. Haven't decided if I'm gonna throw the roof bars on yet and take my kayak with me. I mean, it's probably a good idea too, but I think, no, I think I'm just gonna stick to bank fishing this trip. Supposed to be meeting a few guys up there, some guys that I used to work with, or a guy that I used to work with and some of his friends. I don't know where I'm gonna be staying. They have a cabin, they're renting a cabin. And I might potentially just sleep in the parking lot there. Uh, otherwise, my sister-in-law lives just north of this lake. And she has a big old like Class C or Class A. One of those big, huge driving RVs. So I might just stay in her parking lot somewhere. Or just a random parking lot up there so I don't have to pay for a campsite. But we'll see. I don't know how busy these campsites are going to be right now. So I am just back here dripping sweat. But I think I'm going to close it out there. I uh, kind of got everything done that I wanted to do. I wish I would have got more clamps for the windows but I did manage to get three of them completely done. So I need to get uh, some clamps for this side. And I might run and get those later tonight. As far as under the bed, pretty much have everything I need under here. I've got a spot that I can put my clothing bag right here and some extra stuff. I like to kind of leave a space open. So if I have other stuff that I want to throw in here while I'm going out, I can do that. But I'm just going to close it out there. Yeah, that's it guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, maybe it brought a little bit more insight to you guys as far as how I do the curtains and how I did the bed. Uh, I have showed it before in a specific video, a few vid different videos, but haven't really got too in depth on it. Pretty much ready for tomorrow morning. I need to get my clothes together and stuff like that, but uh, I've got most of my fishing gear in the truck. I'll probably grab some more. Yeah, I'm headed out bright and early in the morning, so stay tuned for the next video, guys. Probably be two or three up from that area if they don't really know exactly what's going on. Uh, it's just going to be kind of a few day adventure and then think the following week I'll be back at home and then I'm headed south for I've got four three nights four days or something booked at a cabin down in the Ozarks area around the lake of the Ozarks and that's actually going to be a trip with my wife so I don't really know how much fishing I'm actually going to get in I think it's more of just like a vacation she hasn't taken a vacation in a while uh, so we're just going to be doing some exploring around and and uh, things like that. I will be doing some fishing. Our cabin is right on a little lake. It's not on the Lake of the Ozarks. We're just off the Ozarks, but there's it's a private pond. And it's a cabin that we have stayed at before, and it's cool. I think it's called the Boathouse, if I remember right. 
but the porch of the cabin actually sits right over the water, but it's a pretty small pond, so who knows what's in there. Uh, I did fish last time I was there, but I was using just a tiny little hooks and a, a cheap Walmart rod, and I was catching little, you know, little sunfish and bluegill and things like that, tiny little stuff, but might be a little bit of a uh, micro fishing adventure, I guess. Uh, but other than that, we'll do some exploring around there. I'm definitely gonna produce some videos down there, make some videos down there. Um, but a lot of it's probably just going to be kind of exploring and sightseeing and checking out some other areas down there. There's a lot of cool stuff. This is a spot that I go to quite a bit. Used to ride motorcycles down there all the time with buddies, but most of them have stopped riding. Uh, so that's kind of stopped happening. Uh, but there's just the sights to see down there are really cool other than fishing the, the lake itself. So that should be a pretty good series. I bet I'll get four or five videos out of that one. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, make sure to come back for the next one. We're going to be headed north to do some camping and fishing. And uh, I guess I'll see you on the next adventure. Stay tuned.